Good afternoon, this is Darno from Porsche of Ocala. I just wanted to take a moment to do a quick walk around on the vehicle that you looked at here yesterday. I'm not sure how much Scotty went over it with you, uh, but this way I can uh, kind of cover certain things. Maybe there's certain things that you didn't know that the car does that I can cover today. Uh, so first thing is, the vehicle is a rhodium silver metallic with the agate gray interior. And again, this is the Panamera 4S. Yeah, your four-point LED daytime running lights, which really make the car stand out. Uh, Porsche definitely wants to, to be noticed. Hey, this car is powered by a 2.9 liter V6 twin scroll turbo engine. Produces 440 horsepower. This car is equipped with Porsche's entry and drive system. So here in the door handle, you have a notch that's going to be on all the doors. So what you do is you put your hand inside the, the handle to unlock the car. And you'll touch the outside where this notch is to lock it. A beautiful panoramic sunroof. It's a new design for the Panamera. You have your spoiler in the back that comes up, which is part of Porsche's active aerodynamics, which they're very well known for. You have the new 3D design taillights. The first one of the production cars to get that was the Macan, and it's it's worked out wonderfully, so it started translating to other vehicles like the 911 and the Panamera, and like we discussed yesterday, the Panamera is essentially a stretch 911. So as you notice from the drive, it drives just like a sports car. Feels like a sports car inside. The power tailgate is standard on the Panamera. The seats do fold down in case you needed to use them for a pass through. We got 12 volt outlet back here. What's nice, what I love what Porsche's done with anything that has a power hatch is the ability to adjust the height of the hatch. So. You can tailor to your convenience. So this is it all the way up. If you wanted to bring it back down here for just convenience reasons, for putting it in a garage or just uh, to make it more comfortable to reach, all you would have to do is press this button right here and hold it down. You hear a chime, the lights flash, and now it's stored in the memory of the car. So that's a wonderful feature. So every time you open, it's going to open at that height. This button to the right of it, because you have the entry and drive, is going to not only lower the hatch, but it will also lock the car. So if you were getting all uh, your groceries or luggage, or you're just done uh, getting everything out of the vehicle, you press that button and it'll lock the car for you. As a standard, you do have parking sensors in the front and rear of the car with a backup camera now. On the back, the shades here are powered. You control them with the window control. And that's on both sides. And you do have a rear power shade to cover the back. What's really unique about the Panamera is the, the seating in the rear. It's four seats. Uh, it is a sedan, but again, it feels like a sports car. With the seats, they, they hug you real tight even in the rear of the car, the vehicle. And then you have the wonderful center console back here. Where you control the vent. You control the back part of uh, the roof here. So you can close that with those controls as well as the controls up front. zone climate control so you can adjust the temperature back here you can actually even see what's playing on the radio back here and if a uh, uh, route guidance was if, uh, was being utilized in a GPS you could see that back here as well Porsche's really outdone themselves upgrading this new interior
So it does have the Bose surround sound system. There's a wonderful soft closed doors. Everyone with children loves that because then you don't have to worry about anybody slamming a door. Okay. So you go here, now you have your advanced instrument cluster that Porsche has redesigned uh, for this year. So the one in the center is an analog display, while the one to your left and to the right are completely digital. On the right side, you control with this roller on the right side of the steering wheel. You can completely customize this display if you would like. You have your true computer. You have a 12 inch tw uh, touchscreen display. You have your volume control on the steering wheel, your back button, your mute button, button to hang up and answer the phone. Uh, this diamond shaped button can be used for a source change or you can customize it for, for other options as well. The new touch display is, is really uh, a step towards the future for Porsche. Um, the center console still is just like it, it was before where it's raised up but everything is touchpad and what's nice what they've done about it is the fact that you still get uh, feedback from touching the button so most touchpads you'll touch it and you, you question if you're actually touching the button or not but here like this is the PASM so this will change your suspension to the sport mode when you push it in you feel a vibration that will let you know that you've actually pushed in the button you have heated and ventilated seats Again, four zone climate control, so you have climate control on both sides in the front and rear. You have all these uh, keys here so you can access the different options in the PCM easily or you can just utilize the touch screen display. So you could easily, if you want to go to your media, just touch here and bring you to your media option. If you go to drive, that's going to allow you to select your different driving modes. You have your uh, climate settings here, your assist system. So this vehicle is equipped with lane change assist, which is, uh, other manufacturers call it blind spot detection. So in the mirrors, there's gonna be a light that comes on when someone's in your blind spot using a radar system in the car. You do have the night vision assist, which comes up in the uh, instrument cluster here. Go to park assist here and act activate your backup camera. Again, you have the Bose system so you can really customize the sound. Uh, this will be a list for any media devices that you have. Now because of the equipment on this car, you get multiple options with uh, changing the driving dynamics. On the steering wheel here, you have your, uh, this is part of the Sport Chrono package, so right now the car is in the normal mode. If you turn this dial to the right and it lets you know in the uh, instrument cluster that you're switching your driving mode. So switching to the Sport uh, changes the suspension, it changes the throttle response, it changes your shift patterns, and it, and it opens up your sport exhaust. You have your sport plus mode, and then you have your individual mode, which you can customize here in the PCM display. So going back to normal, in any mode you can utilize the sport response button, which is going to give you 20 seconds of extra power by closing off the wastegates to your turbo, or wastegate to your turbo. Okay. You can adjust the ride height very easily with the push of a button. You can change how the suspension feels. You go Sport Plus. Uh, you can do all this straight from the screen. 
Uh, and this is how you can customize your individual too. So it's, re it's really easy how they have it set up. And the shifter is very easy because if you place your hand on the shifter, you then have access to your volume control and then the radio control without actually having to move your hand. Up here you have your home link, your sunroof controls, your park distance control. Uh, the park distance control is, is automatic, so if you start coming up uh, to something, the sensors will go off and allow you, and let you know you're getting too close. Now bumper to bumper traffic, that could get annoying, so you could just hit this button and deactivate the feature. This car does have the 14-way seats, so you have an extension up front. The seat will move forward, back, up and down, and also tilt. You have your four-way lumbar support. Okay, you have a nice compartment here for storage <clears throat> with auxiliary port, a USB port, 12 volt outlet. Okay, you have electronic part brake which is really nice, so when you park the car, you can pull this up and it'll gauge your parking brake. Now what this will also do uh, during normal driving is when you come to a stop and the car senses that uh, you're maybe on a slight incline or decline, the car will automatically activate the auto hold function and it'll keep the, the car still so you can release the brake if you needed to and the car won't roll forward. You just have to apply the gas and then you'll uh, be on your way. You got the clock up here that adds a little bit of elegance to a little bit more elegance to the interior with the Sport Chrono package that also acts as a lap timer. Let's uh, get out and take another look at the uh, Panamera 4S. Because of the changing of settings, the spoiler went up. Now, under normal circumstances, this will go up on its own and go back down on its own. Enjoyed the video and look forward to speaking to you. Thank you.